Okay, so we're here again with uh, Daniel Arre de Mexico, and this is our cameraman, uh, True Transient, Patrick Daly, uh, Dave, the actual cameraman, the real magic behind everything. And uh, so they just gave us access to another collection of. What? <laughs> You're not my carrier. Your thing. Anyway, your so okay. they just gave us access to another collection of Carlos Slim, and um, we just interviewed Alfonso Miranda. It was it was great. So after our interview with Alfonso Miranda in Museo Sumaya, our new friend Raúl helped us get access to La Casa Guillermo Tobar de Teresa, which is also part of the foundation Carlos Slim's uh, collection. So we're looking for a place right now uh, to do an interview and just enjoying all of this beautiful artwork. So this is your last day here? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I tomorrow is my out. last day. Today, awesome. today was the day that I interviewed uh, the director Alfonso Miranda at the uh, Sumaya Museum. Mm -hmm. So uh, they gave us access to this beautiful place here. So you spent three days or so here in Mexico City, right? So yeah. That, cool. What do you think of the art scene, the culture, like how is that different from the United States? Like how is it unique to Mexico? One thing that I really found difficult was finding galleries to interview, um, either online, like emails, phone numbers, um, just people giving me access to galleries or even their existence. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if we got outside of the city, it might be a little different, like once you're okay. in, the, in the countryside. Right, okay, so gallery accessibility is there's a difference there. It has been really hard. It's also been hard to find like professional artists. Connections, I think, are really big in Latin American countries. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as we met Alfonso uh, Miranda and uh, Raul at the Sumaya Museum, um, all of a sudden they just gave us access to a bunch of people that we wouldn't normally have access to. Mm -hmm. um, this beautiful space here, uh, other artists, like suddenly I've been past their numbers. Mm -hmm. So um, I think you just have to know a lot of people and maybe we, we did this trip too fast. You know, you were already coming down here and so mm -hmm. I like, just kind of flew it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, this is the first time that I've been in Mexico City, mm -hmm. uh, which is really crazy because it's like the energy is so so much more intense than you would expect. Places like Garibaldi. Sure. What it was. I don't know where yeah. we were. We took it. Thank God for Daniel. He, took yeah. us, he takes us everywhere. Yeah, a lot of access to like cool places that I wouldn't normally see. Cool. Okay. Do you find a difference in the other than accessibility, whatever, in the, the Mexican culture here? Like, what's the difference? Like, how people are, you know, versus the United States? I don't know if I would say like Mexican culture, but definitely the Ciudad de Mexico. Mm -hmm. People right. are so nice. Like, um, customer service is beyond belief. Yeah. Uh, my hotel, the Marquis Reforma, is just above and beyond. Everywhere you go, anywhere you go, people, uh, they're just really really polite yeah. really nice um I, there's like an ease with people here that i think it's not seen it's not it's kind of missing in the united states a little bit yeah i feel like there's an ease in which people move through life here where you know they're not really they don't have their problems on their shoulder you know it's just like they're kind of enjoying it for what it is at yeah. least that's what kind of what i've seen and there's a huge sense of humor too a lightness there's a lightness to people here i think Everybody's is very relaxed, very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the city's pretty safe. You know, um, we always hear, like, don't go to Mexico City, like, mm -hmm. it's very dangerous. But I got lost. My phone turned off. It was a, a, I was at a battery from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And um, I was walking around in the dark, like, and I didn't know where I was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel unsafe once. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like Mexico City is a safe place to come. Like, it, Tourism should be abundant here, and I think people usually think of Mexico, they go to the beaches. Mm -hmm. I really think that Mexico City is some place that you should not skip. You know, this is a must-see. Right. Have you learned anything about, new about art or, or... One thing that I, I would say is that the Sumaya Museum, I mean, just access to so many mm -hmm. um, major artists like just being able to see so much artwork in like one spot right um i did get to see you know you see different techniques different depth like yeah um, and that you know they put together from like 
uh, you know, the, the 20th century to like turn of the century to, I don't know my dates, but you know, mm -hmm. it's from old to new. Um, even the architecture here, like yeah. you have these little details, you'll see a little detail in, you know, the building where there's like a Virgin Mary carved into the side and it's like in some remote part of the building. It's like you would never see that with modern architecture. There's a, this detail. Yeah, in and a sense. it's right next to a Mac store. <laughs> or this clash of Mesoamerican and the new world in Mexico that you rarely kind of see. You have that class of the Aztecs and the conquistadors. You know, yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting. Like a Mac store is in some sort of like just uh, old school art. Right, there's like the Mac store and then Teotihuacan used to be like down the street, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like where Montezuma would be yeah. doing ceremonies. Sorry, it's a Mac store now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, this is very metropolitan. The this, this city is very metropolitan. I think this is more kind of what I associate with that Buenos Aires or, you know, Paris. Um, like that, that's the sense that I get. Like, I, I, it's a very modern city, um, uh, lot, lots of uh, systems in place. Mm -hmm. um, but there is that old world undercurrent, like the, the touch of the architecture, you know, there is that still yeah, yeah, old yeah, the world. Yeah, right. it's everywhere, it's everywhere. I mean, right. Like, look at this place we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Like New York City, you know, Grand Central Station is probably one of the oldest places, you know, and then there, it's not, there's not these historical buildings sprinkled throughout, like thousands, like here, you know. So but, I think that that's kind of interesting. But then you get the Sumaya Museum, which is like mm -hmm. incredible with its architecture and yeah. like the structure. Right. It's something so new, revolutionary. Mm -hmm in the middle of, like you said, it's just like something that, you know, like an old school, like colonial kind of garden. Or, yeah. You know, like that. So how do you think, even just the short time you spent here, how's that gonna influence your art practice, your, you know, your, your painting and all that? Will that influence it? Definitely, the, 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 the architecture of Mexico is, is definitely a big focus in my style of art, um, painting. Like my, my style of painting is always sort of Caravaggio-ci, um, you know, darker, like Renaissance, mm -hmm. but I'm always painting like stone, brick, walls, uh, yeah. you know, the uh, Baroque Rococo. Um, and so yeah, I think that just the depth of like what I'm looking at, like knowing actually how things function that are in my mind or that I've only seen in photos or paintings, mm -hmm. definitely is gonna influence, you know. Yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, anything else you want to talk about or add? I just think it's been great to like uh, meet up with the true transient and uh, <laughs> yeah. had a great time. Yeah, and made great friends. You got a little glimpse of the uh, the travel lifestyle, yes, the true transient style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Sweet. Hi guys, I hope you liked this video. If you guys like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and like.